organizations that go at this without realizing that very quickly find themselves over their heads uh, in terms of not having enough money or enough for the right people or both to really sustain systems. It's one thing to build them, it's another to sustain them. While you may not need the same number of people when you're in sustained mode, but you still need a number of folks to be able to, to look after it. You know, even with our system at the Cure Cloud, we still have little weird things that pop up in the, in the, you know, in the, in the machine works, if you will, that can uh, cause issues. One day a certificate may expire in an interface between two systems and all of a sudden things grind to a halt. Until something doesn't happen, you expect it to happen, uh, you know, it becomes a problem. So it comes down to, at the beginning to really thoughtful architecture. And in this instance, architecture doesn't just mean the pathways of where data flows. It also is around the architecture of the human capital needed to sustain systems.